Hello everyone, this is Zaid from PA Academy team. Today we will explore integrating parametric modeling process with AI rendering using Grasshopper 3D and ComfyUI. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to PA Academy and hit the bell notification for future updates. Let's get started. The aim of this overall workflow process is to help us conceptualize our parametric models uh, more in depth through, you know, visualizing the raw masses in an AI rendering scheme. So we are uh, inside Grasshopper and uh, we have like this uh, Grasshopper script which can generate a high-rise massing model and we can iterate with the form and change it accordingly we have different parameters uh, the relevant parameters can change the height and radius of the massing the uh, overall morphology and so on and let's just decide the view uh, that we want to take uh, what we need to do is uh, to take a print and then selecting the destination as an image file the uh, width and height can be 1024 by 1024 is fine and uh, you can zoom in a little bit and take the uh, view as so and uh, be sure to locate the image inside a folder that is specific and uh, we already had an existing image we can just replace it accordingly so we have saved it and uh, now we can go to ComfyUI and uh, inside ComfyUI now we have a workflow that uses ST 1.5 model with uh, control net, depth control net and the workflow actually depends on the file path of the image itself that we have extracted from Rhino 3D so uh, we need to go to the uh, image location that we have saved in so we are inside the file location of the image that we have extracted from Rhino we will right click on the image and then properties and then we will copy the location path of this image go inside ComfyUI now and through this node from ComfyUI Mixlab uh, it is a custom node actually you can install it from the manager and after copying the path you can go to the file path parameter in here and paste it and uh, that would actually synchronize the images that you are saving in Rhino directly to ComfyUI without importing the images constantly inside uh, the workflow and uh, other than that we are using the depth preprocessor map and uh, we have the prompt description of the image that we want so it's describing a modern skyscraper so let's let's run the workflow now the process now should refine this to the new image that we have uh, extracted from rhino and then it will uh, run the process accordingly so yes as we can see it it did uh, you know automatically captured it you know we have this ai conceptual rendering of the form So as we can see, we are now generating different AI renderings of our uh, parametric model. Just keep sure to enable the watcher. That is key to, you know, automatically recognize the image that you are extracting from Rhino. And um, generally, yeah, that's it. We can now explore different types of AI renderings. Uh, you can also uh, make it running instantly without without running the workflow manually it can just generate itself change the form a little bit maybe like so and then taking a print replacing it and going back to ComfyUI as we can see it's automatically recognizing the new image and generating it yeah that's that's mostly it and you can check out the output images you generated by going to the ComfyUI inside the output folder you can check out there the generations you made inside ComfyUI as we can see we explored different types of 
morphologies with parametric design and AI rendering. And yeah, that's mostly it. So that's it for today. If you want to learn more about AI in architecture, computational design, or about topics related to the design field, don't forget to check out Bay Academy. Thank you for watching.